Uh, now, uh, all of you are festooned in your uh, lovely Christmas jumpers. I haven't got mine on yet because, uh, once again, I'm going to ask your opinion. So I have four Christmas jumpers laid out on the floor in front of me. Uh, so what do you think I should wear? Should it be... I'm going to go by the loudest applause. Should it be the penguin? Should it be the naughty jumper? <laughs> I like your opinion of me. Um, uh, Christmas pudding? Uh, 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 and finally, Rudolph. I think it's the naughty jumper then. Naughty jumper gets it. Yay! Mariah. <laughs> hey, Dustin. Just like a little elf. Look at that. <laughs> and Ray, we also know you have a, how do you put this nicely, an unnatural interest in elves. <laughs> No, we do. This is regular no. listens to the Darcy show with no. When we were up saving Lapland and trying to help Santa and all that sort of thing in a Christmas crisis, Ray'd be over going, Ooh, she's all right, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, have a bit of that, all right. Remember, he'd be up there knobbing elves and we'd be trying to save Christmas. <laughs> is that true or not? Is that true or not, Darcy? That's not true. That Did you not, have... That is not strictly true. How do I put true. this nicely because I'm only 12? <laughs> Did you do the jockey with an elf? <laughs> How much did Santa pay for his sleigh? I don't know. How much did Santa pay for his sleigh? Nothing. It was on the house. <laughs> Thank you very much for peeling my veg. Thank you very much for taking her off our hands. Thank you very much for the chocolate when I'm sad. Thank you very much for wearing my knickers on the rad. <laughs> Thank you very much for all the cups of tea. Michelle. Thank you very much for loving me. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> Michelle and John. I'll be passing you all in five minutes. Wish you was there. Uh, Lorraine on the 25A. Aww. You're doing a good job. That's what I said before we went on air. Your job was to make them at home feel jealous. <laughs> yeah. That's a, a real fond memory for a lot of people, the pennies ad, and I think our audience might even do their own version of it on the count of three. One, two, three. Pennies, got a hold of things for Christmas, got a lot for the family. Very good, very good, very good. Here we go. Um, I want to write a thank you letter for a big Christmas thank you. My name is Anne O'Neill. I want to write the letter as someone else. I'm writing on behalf of my six-year-old niece, Ava. Um, I want to write what I feel she would say, if she could, to her fantastic mammy and daddy, Jono and Emma. Um, Ava has a rare condition called mucolipidosis uh, 3, or ML3 for short. This is so rare that Ava is the only one in Ireland with it, that we know of anyway. So Ava, age 6. Uh, Dear Mammy and Daddy, I am a fantastic girl. I know this because you always tell me. I know I'm loved so much because you always show me. I know I can be a little bit stubborn because you tell me that too. <laughs> It's not always easy knowing that I'm a little different from other six-year-olds. I can't run or play or go as fast as other six-year-olds, but that doesn't stop me trying or figuring out a way to get stuck in. Both of you have taught me that. Thank you. It's not easy for you to watch other kids who are way younger than me grow taller than me, speak clearer than me, and be able to put on and off their own shoes. But you never wrap me in cotton wool, and for that, thank you. I know loving me is easy, but getting into the car at five in the morning... Sorry for this. Um, to head to yet another appointment in Dublin, then place a mask on my face to put me to sleep when I beg you not to, is not easy. But you do it for me. Thank you. I know it's not easy when I get frustrated and get upset and want my own way. Uh, you two always stand firm together and never give in to me. Actually, not sure if I want to thank you for that. <laughs> I know when people stare a little longer than they should, it's hard for you. I know when I fall over and can't get myself up, it's not easy for you to watch. I know it would be faster and easier to do your fantastic bacon without me, but you always let me help. Thank you, Mum. Taking me swimming on a Sunday morning when your head may not be too good. Dad, thank you for that. Uh, I know loving me is easy, but I know thinking and worrying about my future is not. But when you put me down to sleep at night... Uh, sorry. My dreams are of a fantastic mummy and daddy who love me and my little sister Lauren and each other very much. So to someone out there, thank you very much from my mum and dad and my little sister Lauren. Love, Ava. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> it's coming on Christmas. They're cutting down trees. They're putting up reindeer and 
singing songs of joy and peace Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away I don't know, what's Santa's favourite pizza? Deep pan, crisp and deep and... Very good! I simply must go But baby, it's cold out there The answer is no But baby, it's cold outside <laughs> This welcome has been so nice and warm Look out the window, there's a storm My sister will be Suspicious. Gosh, your lips look My brother will be there at the door. Upon a drop of a My maintenance mind is vicious. Gosh, your lips are delicious. Oh, thank you. Well, maybe just a cigarette more. Yeah, such a busy before. I've got to go home. But you'll freeze out there. Well, lend me your coat. 